You can start with the legs wide and just have the toes turned out and do just a little shift from side to side. So you're coming right down into the hips. Take the hands onto the back. Press the elbows back to open the chest and the rib cage. And then do swirls with the hips. And you can keep your knees bent. So you're not up too tall, but you're a little bit low. And then come on in the other direction, coming around. And again, keep the elbows pressed back. Now lift the chin and look up. So you're opening through the chest. And then other direction again. Now we come to your center, take the arms up, breathe in, and then exhale and bend. Breathe in and lift, and then exhale and bend. Breathe in, lift, and exhale, bend. Lift, exhale, two more lifting. Come up, exhale, bend, breathe in. Now exhale the hands right down onto the knees and let your hips sit back. Do a little plunge with the hips coming back. So you've got this kind of a straight back action. And you've got the knees swaying out. The toes are turned out slightly. Now do a little bit of a shift there. So you're plunging and you're shifting. Plunging and you're shifting. <laughs> and you've got that weight shifting from side to side. And you keep the shoulders back. Now come down lower. Sit back more, so you're coming into the hips. And then do a circle, so you're churning around again. And you can keep the hips back, so you're not too far forward. So you're coming into the low back, in the other direction. And just churning around, notice like keeping the chest lifted, so you're not folded forward too much. And that way again, you get into that hip pelvis. Okay, again, other direction. Coming around, super warming up the knees, really good. I know you need to be gentle for the knees. Anybody that does, I'm thinking of, of course, the YouTube, Virginia Savini, really listening. Coming around. Now, just be gentle and come a little lower and then come back up. So we're gonna start with a warming up in through the hips and the low back. Keep your chest lifted and press, lifting, and press, and two more of these, and press, keep the chest lifted, and last one. Okay, come on up, and now do a step from side to side, so you're coming right into the hips, stepping. Take the arm up and over, get a wonderful reach, stretch and lengthen from the side of the waist, so take your time to get that arm over, reaching, now take the arm across, reaching over, reaching over, press across. Now take that arm into a circle, coming up, and circle, touch. Now get a longer stride across, bringing the arm up. And now we'll combine those three. So come up for two, and then come across, reach, and then you can circle, and coming up, and cross, and circle, and reach, and cross, and circle, and reach, and cross, and circle. Okay, one last round, and cross, and circle. Okay, now let the arms come in front and then kicking the leg across to open through the hip. Get the kick pretty high and then take the elbows out, open through the chest. Now we'll do this as a double kick. So you come across here, go up and two, lift, up and two, lift, shifting the weight up, lift, up, lift, pressing the elbows together, lift, up and lift, up, lift, and up, and lift. Okay, now two more lifting. Up, lift, up. Now take the leg to the outside. You can bend your supporting leg, shift, take this leg out. Now reach your arms, coming out, push. 
push. Now bend the standing leg a little more. So you're gonna lean into that karate kick. Come right to the out hip, outside hip. See if you can get the leg up high and push. Okay, push through with the arms, but strong. Okay, good. And up, push. Now we go back to the double count. So here we go. Up for two, lift, out, up, push, lift, and up, push, lift, up. Okay, two more. Two more. And up. Okay, now just taking the legs, shake out the arms, make them go all over the place. So you're getting into different parts of the shoulder, different parts. That's the advantage of doing this at home. You can just do any movement at all. Let the elbow lead and let the elbow draw through the air. Let the wrist follow. So you're getting all kinds of movement in through the shoulder girdle. And then turn it into an infinity sign and let the elbows lead. So you're coming around, hands are swiping across, stroking. Get the elbows out and up. Right around. Okay, take this higher and press back. So you can see you're really twisting. Rotate back. Elbows again high. Okay, now we're going to come back into the movement we started with, stepping the leg to the outside, and we'll reach the arm across, across, there we go, and across, and across, there we go, and then circle. So coming up, lift, lift, cross, two, and circle, and open, open, reach, reach, and circle. Nice stretching, beautiful reach. Up. Right cross and circle and reach and cross and circle and up, reach and circle. One more round coming up, reach a little quicker and circle. Come back into the infinity arms, we're marching it out, get the elbows pulling across. I'm just doing a step side to side. Okay, now just take the arms of the center, press them together, and then you're gonna press out, come on together. Come out, and keep the ribs lifted as you shift into that leg. Keep the chest open, keep the rib cage lifted, opening, pressing. Again, ribs lifted. Keeping the chest open for four of these. Open, try to get low on that leg. So you really do come into a lunge, last one. Okay, now the arms come up and then pull. Lift and lift and lift. Up, up, three more, press. Last one, now come on back to the center. Now I'm gonna lift this leg up. Press the heel back and extend the arms. Come into your balance. If you need to come to the wall, please do. Keep that heel reaching out. Keep the hands coming back. Forward fold and then shift. Taking the opposite leg up. Reaching out. Extend out through that leg. Breath. Good, try to get really reached out from the heel, and then come back. Now once again, lift the, uh, the right leg up with the opposite leg. So we do a lift, and then extend the leg up. Come back to a lift. Lifting, try to press through that standing leg. Come up, push back again. Reaching, and here we go, coming up again. Lift, and now push back, and reach. And here we go. Lift, coming up, and push back. 
Keep strong through the core and lift, coming up. You want to have that thigh so that it is even with your waist if you can, and then coming back up. Okay, now we're switching legs. So lift on the chest, extend back, reach through the leg, keep pressing through that standing leg. Again, feel free if you ever need to, to hold on to the wall. And coming up, lift, pressing back again, extend through that leg and arm, and lifting, coming up, extend out through the leg, breath, lifting, lifting right from your center, so your chest stays up, the eyes slightly ahead, so the head is lifted, lifting, and last one, coming back, and now we're going to keep this leg lifted, coming up, extend up through the arms, draw the shin back, press into that standing leg for balance, opening through the chest, interlace the fingers, slide the shoulders down, press into the standing leg, press that foot into the leg, so you're going to come into your balance. The foot will probably be pretty low as you get that push of the, the foot into the leg. And now come on to the other side. So lifting, start with your balance this way. So you're pressing into that standing leg, Try not to lift your hip up. So tip to stay pretty square. And slide the shoulder blades down to get your rise. Keep your lift, breath, take the foot. It's gonna be pretty low, still press the foot into the standing leg working on the leg muscles for balance, inner thighs especially. Pressing, pressing, and then you can come back down. Okay, now we'll take the legs wide, turn the toes out, do your shift from side to side, quite speedy, and you're gonna have the knees staying bent so you're not straightening, and that way you can keep the hips a little bit lower. Now take the hands down, we're going to do a reach across to the opposite ankle. So you're going to come across and across and across. Get a twist. So you're taking one arm back, getting a reach back and back. Reach. Good. Now come to this side and straighten the leg. Reach out. Take the arm across. Really stretch out. Take the arm up. Reach that arm out. And now lunge to the side. Take this arm out, reach, get out there, extend through the arm. Take this arm up, reach this arm out, bending into the knee, into the hip. Breathe in, lift, come up, reaching across, out, and come back up. Now take both arms over to the side, turn and face this direction. Keep the rib cage lifted, and then you can take the arms up and lower. So you lower and rise, and lower and rise, press and rise. Keeping that back knee lowering, open through the chest, and then take the arms up, and open and rise. Lower, push, breath is steady, and press, and lift, and press, and lift. Press and lift two more and press and lift. Now we're going to go back into that balance. So step the arms in, move the arms back, and then the arms come forward. Extend the arms out, reach the leg out as straight as you can. Come down, bend that standing uh, leg slightly if you need to, otherwise fully straighten, and then reach that heel up. Now we'll turn towards your side, so this underside arm comes out, and then you lift this top arm up. If you're toppling all over the place, like I am, <laughs> feel free to keep one hand down, and then let's take that leg out. Do a pulse as you reach out through the heel. The standing leg is slightly bent, so here's lock to you want to be slightly bent. You reach out, get strong through that leg, reach through the heel, Okay, come on down. Lift, forward fold up, 
Left open from the rib cage. Now we take the right leg back. Left from the rib cage. Arms up. Bend that back knee down. Lift, opening the chest. Arms lower and lift, pull and lift, pull and lift. Bending that back knee down and lift, pull and lift, pull. Keeping the rib cage up. Breathing steady, back knee lowers. Got two. Keep that knee reaching back. So you're really open up and through that thigh. Here we come with our lift. Extend that leg out. Reach, extend the arms forward. Reach that heel up for, I can't do this one very well, so if you can be higher, please do. Reach, reach, extend down. Hands are down, now take the underside hand down and under your chin, possibly turn to the side. Bringing the leg up. If you need to keep your hand down like I do, please reach the leg out. Try to get the leg long. Extend, pull up through your standing leg as well as you reach that leg out. The breathing is steady. Pulse that uh, upper leg up. Get a good reach. Again, reach through that heel. Breathing steady. Reach. Strong through the core. Fold that leg down. Lift from your forward bend. Open the chest. Press the palms together. Now we'll take the arms out to the side. You can come into um, a, a squat. You're going to keep the legs just a little wider than the hip than the hip. And you want to take the arms out to the side. Now come into your circles. Going to reach out with the hands and come back up. Good. Now come into a balance and you're going to keep the arms going as you press into the standing leg. Really reach out through the palms. So you've got this nice, not the arms kind of sort of, but really reach. Okay, now press this one down. Push as if you're submerging like a Javex bottle underwater. Push, push. You'll see there's an upper wave and push, breath, standing leg, and push a little harder. Push, press. So you're getting into the shoulder. It's a, like a, kind, of, kind of like an isometric if you press into something, but you're pressing into the air, pushing down. Good, now turn the palm back, rotate up. Back, rotate up, back. Rotate up. Keep lifting from the rib cage. Keep this arm extending out. Press and up. Now I'm pushing forward and then pushing back. So you can see there is a forward rotation. So you're getting more activation. Down and up. Down and up. Breath. Breath. Excellent. Okay, we're going to take that arm down. Good Lord. Shake out the hands. Now we'll come up onto the other leg. Lifting. Did I shake legs? Oh my God, I don't know. Here we go. Lifting the other leg up, other arm up. Take the arms out. Press into that standing leg. Good. Come into circles. Get the arms reaching. So you feel the arms strong. Lift from the ribcage space here. Coming up. Press into the standing leg. So you get that balance. Keep the shoulders back. Okay, good. Other direction. Arms are strong. Shoulders back, so they're not forward. Shoulders back slightly. You've got the chin back as well, so you're keeping the body tall. Pressing into that standing leg. This arm is pressing down. This arm is reaching out. Push and push and push. Breath, extend this arm out and push. Keep pressing into the standing leg. Breathing steadily. Press, press, push, and push. Press. Excellent. Standing leg. So try not to be shifted. I don't know if you can see your balance. In a mirror, try not to have this hip up. Then the arm comes forward and you push back. Wow. Forward, push back. Resist the air. Push. Back, forward, wow. Extend the other arm out. 
keep pushing, keep the wrist straight, so not bending down or anything weird. Back, excellent, push. Excellent, and um, see, Julian will not be joining us because he got a job at a fantastic farm called Harmony Fields which is um, this beautiful new, it's only about two years old farm. He's gonna be running all the uh, microgreens, you know, the sprouts. So he's gonna head out really early towards, uh, just towards Hamilton from where he lives in Portland. So um, he will be bringing us sprouts. So if you need sprouts, please let me know because uh, they've got a huge farm. I'll see if I can put in an extra order. Oh, okay, shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Get really, really, really loose. Now just let, have a little earthquake right from the waist down, shimmy, 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 shimmy. That's where a lot of belly dancing comes from, it's actually from the legs. So you wanna get really, 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 really loose. Okay. Now, um, coming up on the toes. Now this is very good for the calves. The calves are like a heart pump and they help to move the blood all the way back up to the heart and back down. And because we stand a lot and sit a lot, we usually don't get a lot of activation of that. In Kundalini Yoga, you do a lot of this. <laughs> There's a lot of bouncing and you're moving the energy. So they will do very, very rapid bouncing. I did it on Saturday and I can still feel my calves. So if you can do a little jump, it's very good for drainage. It's very good for the calves, as I said. Also the knees, working with shock absorbers. And if that's too much, this is okay. So you're staying down, balls of the feet, balls of the feet. The other thing is, and I wish I could see you, so if you have a full length mirror, just make sure one knee isn't coming in or something weird like that. Try to make sure that you're tracking the knees forward. Very good for the thighs. Okay, so we're lifting. I can really feel that. Good. Keep on going. Either version. Keeping the ribcage lifted. Keep the chest open. Good, arms are just a dangling. So you get a little bit of loosening in through the shoulders, neck, as the weight of the arms drops. Breathing, the cage lifted. Oh, okay, good. Press the calf forward. Now take the arms out, lean out, and extend the arms. Now fold out over that leg, and lift the chin, and reach the chest towards the leg. Take both hands on either side if you can get there. I've got short legs. You might need to bend a little bit to get down. Pull the toes back. And now we're going to step this back, this uh, back leg back. We're going to reach it back. Pull up on the toes and on the fingertips, also on the toes of the back. And then you can extend it over that leg. Pull the toes back as you reach. Reach and reach and reach. Reaching out with the chest. Now point the toes, turn your back heel in, take the right hand in for a long triangle turn to the left. And you keep that top waist pulling back. So you're lengthening out from the side of the body and your chin is in slightly so you're not looking up. Top of the head reaches out. Back leg is strong. Keep this uh, heel pressing down and keep this leg back. So you're not rotated in, but your waist is up. Get a strong waist stretch. Reach this arm out. Open right through the side body. Reach long through the torso. Back leg back. Back leg back. Good. And now take the hands down. Let's go back into this dreaded leg lift. Take the hands forward. The foot just kidding. Reach the heel up. Extend. Now come up as high as you can. And you want to have that leg as straight as you can. One more time, we're going to turn to the side, if you can, and take this arm up. If you need to keep the arm down, do. You want to just keep trying. Keep trying to go up and down. If the gaze is a little bit to the side, I find it's easier. That'll help to direct more balance. If you can turn and look towards the camera, towards the side, that's the true pose. It's just that I find I get more balance if I look down. And then take that leg down. Now let's do a lift, come back up, swan open the chest. Take the arms up, exhale the arms down. Take the opposite left heel in front. Fold out over that leg. 
You're keeping your uh, extension out. You want to take your opposite hand, pull the toes back. You need to bend your standing leg quite a bit sometimes to get down there, get a side waist stretch. Lifting the chin as you extend the body forward. Breathing, breathing. Good. And now take the hand down, step this back leg back. Turn the heel in and then take that left hand or the hand you have on the floor. Pull the waist back. Draw the shoulder blade back, draw the waist back. Both legs are straight if you can. And turn, face up, keep the shoulder blade back, keep the breathing steady. One shoulder is stacked on top of the other, that's the plan. You're open, 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 breathing, breath, breath, excellent, breath. And then it can come down. Pardon me, now we're just gonna turn over that leg. Take the hands forward a foot. Take that leg reaching up, extend, reach through the heel. Strong standing leg as you fold forward. Now take the underside hand forward, it's gonna be under that shoulder. Oops, possibly lift this leg up. Do your best, but keep the breathing from stopping. Keep breathing, reach the leg out. <laughs> Find whatever you balance you can, getting that reach. I'm gonna keep my hand down on this side. Now you are trying to turn the belly button to the side, so you're trying not to face down with the belly button. Keep the heel reaching out. Make sure the neck is okay, it's important in this one. I don't want you to be lifting them necessarily. So it's more the crown of the head is reaching towards the floor, so the chin will be slightly in. And that heel is reaching like a strong. Now take that leg back and then take the hands onto uh, either side of the foot. And we're gonna once again reach out over this leg. You're up on the back toes and you reach and extend out over the leg. So feel your body long. Okay, very good. Now we're going to turn and I want you to turn, hope this works, and face the camera so you can be like this. And you're in a straddle can stay in that straddle and as I just get my thing fixed there. Now you've got your straddle and you're going to have your hands down underneath your chin. Now you can bend into one side and let your hips sit back. Do a little pulse opening up in through that hip and then take the hands over that side. Reach out with the chest and the chin and then take this outer arm out. Lift, open through the chest, reach, reach, reach. Extend the arm, push. Okay, come down. Now walk over to the other side, and then push into that hand. Bend into that knee, do some pulses. This opposite leg stays nice and strong. Pressing out. Now press that hand down, lift. Open the chest and breath, lift. Then you can come down. Now turn towards the front leg. Come up on the toes of the back foot. Now get the leg to move back as wide as you can, that you have a straight leg and you're lifted and you've got a right ankle on this right knee. You're lifting the rib cage. The back is flat, okay? So that now you can drop that back knee down. Lift the chest and the rib cage. Draw up onto the knee. As you lift, extend through the arms, open the chest, turn to the side on the knee that's bent. Open through the chest and lift the rib cage. The arms are not dropped, but reach out, open. Now take this hand down, turn to the side. Have your front knee directed forward. Do a little giggle, though. <laughs> to get the core to pull in. And then we'll take that arm down. Now take the arm wide. Okay, straighten your front leg, reach the chest out. Now we're gonna take this right hand on the inside, let me remember how we do this on the other side. Turn once again, so the back heel comes down. Come into your long, strong triangle. Now bend that front knee, and you've got the knee coming right over the ankle. So you've got it, nice. Turn your body. 
Come just straight the knee. Is the knee is bending. Okay, and you're open, open, open. Okay, great. Now come on down, take the right hand out. Change legs, take the left leg forward. Both hands now on the inside as you reach that back heel up and back rather. And then you keep the chest lifting. Keep the front left knee into the body. Back leg is strong. Reach it, reach it. Pull up from the core. Breathing. Bend that knee down. Lift the chest, the body, hands. Come on to the knee. Open through the chest. Rise. Pulling up from the rib cage. Lengthening. Breath is steady. Opening. Breath. Breath. And then you can take this hand around. Turn, open the chest. Keep on pulling up from the waist. You try not to dump the back foot actively pressing so you can pull up from the rib cage. Chest is open, really pull up from the side. Waist. Now you can come down. Turn, open. Keep the, the back leg strong as you rotate. Push and turn and open as much as you can here. Breathing, breathing. Keep the front knee from swaying out. You want to keep it directing forward to square your body forward. And then you can take that hand down. Step your hands wide. Step your back leg forward. Your feet are hip width apart. You fold forward. Now breathe in, rise. Lift from the rib cage. Bring the palms together. And now we'll come right into running arms. So arms on the side. And you want to take the arms as fast as you can. Pulling back. Really, lead of the elbows, breath, breath. Keep the core strong. Keep the shoulders down. Try not to be hunched at all. Good. Keep the breathing steady. Of course, if you need to grab water, which I'll do, so keep going. Grab some water. And uh, keep on going. Keep the elbows fast. Damn, we need music for this one. So imagine it. As we know, that fabulous song. Fast as you can. Faster. Elbows leading. Breathing steady. Excellent. Reaching back. Good. And yesterday I saw the Blue Jays are starting their flock in the ravine. There's about 30. And get here the most walking was incredible. So watch out, you might have that come to a neighborhood or a neighbor in your backyard. They start to flock about this next two weeks. And, uh, and then I guess they, I don't know, because I know they're here during the winter, but they do something. And be your party, I guess. So try to really leave the elbows fast. Fast. Rib cage lifted. Fast, 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 fast. Think of nothing else the breath. Like see if you can just stay with the breath. Going fast, faster, good. Again, looking with the elbows. Breath, breath. Keep it going. Fast, breath, breath. Excellent. Breath, good, fast. If you can, a little faster. Okay, good. Now we'll do the turn. Now the elbows are the outside. And we're turning them back. Good. Now the tor torso is coming with you. And you're pressing back. Pressing back, leading, slicing with the elbows. Now come back to running arms. You'll feel the inside of the triceps more. Right in there. Of course, three muscles in the triceps. And you're working the inner, shorter, bulky of one. Leaning back from the elbows. Again, keep the chest open. Rib cage lifted. Breathing. Breath. Breath. Excellent. Breath. Pass as you can. Fast. Breath. Almost there. Fast. Elbows to the side now. Leaning. Twist. Lead back with the elbows. Leading back, chin is back. So you keep the chest and neck open. Breath, breath. Okay, last round. 
fast, leading with the elbows. Stay, breath. Oh, dear God, okay, we are so close. Okay, we've got about 20 seconds. Breath, I totally made up that time, I have no idea. But it's a good guess. Leading, breath, almost there. Okay, eight seconds. Breath, breath, fast, breath, good, and release the arms. Okay, the arms are coming up, and you've got them touching, and then you pull down, and it's up and pull, up and pull, press back and pull, press and pull, lift. You're gonna go fast so that you really are pulling down and pushing up. You're pulling down, push, pushing back. So you're working through the backs of the arms, shoulders, of course. Keep your breathing steady. Eight, breath, six, keep the ribs lifted. Keep them in, breathing, breath, breath, last one. Okay, and now taking the arms down. We are coming down onto the floor. And here you can come into all fours position. Now let's do a cat round. So you're going to press the tops of the feet down. Exhale on your next exhale. Round. Stay in the rounded position. Pressing the tops of the feet down. Breathe in and out through the nose. And then come on back into either legs straight in front to help the knees, or if you can come into kneeling position. Now from there, I just wanted to do the, because I want everybody to be able to do this for the knees, let's start with the legs in front. Um, I want to get a good stretch in through the back. So take the top arm on top, cross it over, and keep working that hand behind. Now drop the ear to that side. So we're going to come into a side neck stretch and shoulder. So you're going to come over from here past you. Get that shoulder blade to come straight across. Get a really good reach. You're still coming up from the waist, so try not to collapse. Keep the spine rising, and then come on back. Here we go. Now, just let this hand, um, the thumb is gonna come down the back. You pull that arm over. You're familiar with this one, say so pull over, and then you bring that ear down. And the ear is coming right in line with the shoulder. Now you want to keep the head back so you're not tipping, now you're not dropping the chin. So you come right into the side neck. Good, good, good. Now take this hand for support and do a uh, drop from your waist a bit. So we were here and drop in breath and come on back up. Okay, very nice. Now we'll take this and cross. Get the arm well across, getting into the shoulder. Wonderful stretch. See, so you can get way, 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 way over. Now let your ear drop. Drop to that side. Keep your breathing steady. And we're back. 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> I was up half the night. <laughs> it's like, really? <laughs> the alarm is set. Everything will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but I was sure he was sleeping in. I, well, not that much, but a little bit. And uh, so my whole body was making sure I got up when we woke up at three. All right, so now you can take that arm, you get the thumb coming down, you take that arm across, pull over, and now just dropping down. And here, keep that rise. So here's where you really get to use your back muscles. I'm not slumping. You get the rise from the bottom and back. So you want to get the ear super heavy. Really pull it down in through the neck, keeping your breathing constant. Now you can take that hand down. Here you go. A nice drop. Okay, really drop, really drop. This opposite shoulder is staying down strong. You're breathing. And then you can come on all the way back up. Okay, let's come into the legs straight in front. 
Turn your fingers in, bend the knees, have the feet come hip width apart. Come into your bridge lift. You're coming up and the shoulders are coming forward. Now send your hips forward, send your shoulders down so that you're opening through the front of the shoulders. Lift the eyes to gaze up. And if you can, keep the hips high, really high. Now, if you're super strong, take that left leg up, and then you can take that foot just to the knee, come back up, just a couple of these to feel like our dry land synchronized swimming. And once, and then come down, here we go. Lift the hips. If you need to be down like this, you could do a lift. Come across, lift, come across. If you can, come up, keep the hips out, open through the chest, shoulders come down and forward. Get the hips high, bring the right leg up, touch it across, lift, touch, and lift, and breathing, and lift. Hips high, last one, and lift. Okay, now we're gonna pull the knees in. You're gonna take the heels up off the floor, kiss the knees together, roll back. And then, whoops, and then lift all the way back up, lifting from your low back. Heels are off the floor. Roll back again so you can round your spine. And then lift, coming up. Stay off the floor with the toes. Round back again. Lifting. Take the hands behind. Turn the knees over to the right. Kiss them together. Over to the other side. And turn and turn, and turn. I think you can see everything okay. Over, over. Use your core to lift, try not to use your hands. Hold up, your towards the front of the bum bones, the feet can stay together. And now, wow. And then you're gonna take the legs out, come into a lift, barely hands, it's more for balance. And then take the legs into a circle. If you need to bend, that's excellent. Just see what you can get. Mainly working the lift of the ribs, the shoulders down, the legs as straight as you can, pulling up from the core, breathing either direction, coming around, coming around, really reach, breath once more, coming down, okay. Now let's lower, take the arms out to the side, and then draw the right knee into the chest. Let's just do a nice, gentle stretch. We can be gentle. And then come on into circles with that right knee. Your shoulders are dropped back. And you can now just go on side to side. Get a windshield wiper action. Breathing steadily. Now you can take that right leg up. Lift the upper body towards the leg. Keep that left pointing and you lift from the upper body coming in. Lengthen through the leg, keep your elbows out now, so if they are bending, otherwise hold on in the best spot. Now you can keep that leg up, and then bring the leg across and over to the side, as high up as you can, above the waist if that's possible. And then you're gonna turn and gaze to the other side. Get that leg way out, Really reach with the hand, breathing steadily, breath, and then you can come back up, get a wonderful lift, pull that leg in, breathing, and then you can gently release. Okay, great. Take that left knee in, come on into those, staying with your breathing. Good, and then other direction. Come on, side to side. And then you can take that leg up, lift. Lift the torso towards the leg, then the foot on the floor. Grab on in the best spot to get the leg to come towards you. Reaching, leg is out. Excellent, breath. Breath, breath. Good, come down, bring the leg across. Come over, turn and face this arm. Opening the chest, keeping the leg reaching. Breath, breath. 
Okay, good. Now taking that leg up, bring both legs up, do a gentle plow action. You can pull the toes back, reach the heels overhead. So we are keeping the room back on the floor and you can get that reach out. Pull the toes back, stretching through the calves. And of course you can hold on behind the calves as well. Now you'll let your heels stay to the top. Take to the arms, take the arms to the outside. You can press the backs of the arms down. Now press your shoulder blades under. Now keeping the heels reaching and stretching through the backs of the legs. Pull the heels towards you so you get a strong stretch through the hamstrings. Okay, so you can really get that reach out. Now keep the low back tight. So you're using your core to jack me thin. And so as the heels keep on reaching out and you pull the toes back. Now your shoulders are free, just make sure they are. You might need to press them under a bit so the neck is really free. Take the legs over as much as you can, keeping them as long and, and reaching through the heels as you can. You just come for straight, as straight as you can. And you get the legs down. Okay. Now, slowly come down. And then do that again. Reach up. Pull the heels towards you. Contract through the core. Keep the contraction. So my friend said that this is supposed to be like, like to pull lower core in. Um, he said it's kind of like a cat falling. So if that means anything to you, it's like <laughs> it's, it's, everything in here is hollowing out. Um, if that's what you need to understand. Um, because you want to get that. I prefer to have a giggle myself. I think that's a little bit better. So we're just going to do a little. <laughs> And you want to reach the heels out and keep the shoulder blades back. Okay, and then lower. So I hope you could feel the contraction is constant. Let's try it again. So you can contract, reach the heels out. Breath, breath. My shoulders are pressing back, so the neck stays long. Legs are actively reaching. Breath. And then let the arms come down, or legs come down rather. Hug the knees in. Pull the knees in snug. Then let the knees come apart. Hold on there. Bending at the elbows, do a gentle, lovely rock side to side. Now you can take the right foot across, get the knee across, wrap the lower legs, twist to your left, gaze to your right, Come into full circles with that right arm. So you're getting around and over. Stay with your breathing. And then come in the other direction. Breath. Great. Now keep the knees locked and then come on to the other side. Turn and gaze in the other direction. See if you can get the knees to the floor and get that hip to open on the other side, the top side. Let the shoulders come back, you're gazing in that opposite direction. Keep the breathing steady. Excellent, excellent. And then you can breathe in, come on back up. Now hug the knees in. Lift the body, pull the legs in, super tuck the chin. And then you can uncross and release the legs to the floor. Take a moment to let your low back go. Just releasing the legs and the upper body. Excellent. Now we'll take the opposite leg on top. Wrap the lower legs if they do not. Bend over to the side, gaze in the opposite direction. You can come to either side, reaching the gaze over, come on into full circles with this arm, opening the chest, breath, and then the other direction, coming around. Great. Let the arm draw back. Take a one full breath. And then you can breathe and come on over to the other side. 
chin once again, all the way over, gazing in the other direction, coming to your circle again, opening, breathing. I realize we didn't do this on the other side. I'm going to circle both arms. Sorry about that. So you're opening chest, get a nice deep breath, breathing in and up and back. Excellent. And then other direction. Breath. Beautiful. Then let that arm come out. Breathe the knees to the middle. Draw the legs in. Lift the upper body. Hug around the tops of the knees. Pull in. Keep the core strong. Tuck the chin. And then you can gently release the legs. Now with the heels apart, press the heels down into the floor. Knees are just tapered apart as well. Now you're going to come into your bridge lift. So press into the hips and just um, send the knees away so you're nice and long through the torso. Press the head back and if you can, either take the hands interlaced underneath or I like to work towards the heels because I find that, that gets more of a stretch in through the shoulders. So you've got the shoulders curves wriggling under, you're pressing the backs of the arms into the floor and your gaze is to the ceiling and you keep on breathing steadily. Stay with your breath, keep the tailbone reaching out. Excellent, breath, breath, reaching out with the tailbone. Breathing, and then you can just slowly come down. Great, and we're going to, I just want you to wriggle the arms, so make sure the shoulder blades are wide, you've got good space in between the shoulder blades. And then take the hands and the elbows, pull the arms across and over to your left, and then breathe deeply. So you're getting a good stretch underneath that right shoulder blade. The breath is drawing into the back of the throat to open the back. And then you're breathing in, come over to the right. Get that elbow well across, breathing steadily. Okay, good. Now just seesaw side to side, getting that elbow way across. Good. Now the hand, take the left arm out to the side. Take the right hand behind the left ear. In breath, come up and tuck the chin into the right side. So you're going to stretch in through the left neck. Really tuck. Breathe in and out through the nose. Steady breath. Here we go. Come on down with the head. Take the right arm onto the side. Take the left hand behind that right ear. Tuck the chin. Really tuck. Keep the right shoulder drop back. Keep your breathing constant. Breath. Breath. And then you can gently come down. Okay. Let your hands come behind the head. Press the elbows back. Good. Now, from here, bend over to the left side. Side bend on your back and press both elbows back. Press the feet down and pull the tailbone down. And you know what? Let's not do it that way. I'm not loving it. Let's roll to the side and come on up to see it instead. You can take the legs straight in front. So I want to get um, a really good stretch right in through here. So let's take the uh, left arm up to the side. And you can get a reach, so you're actually going to fall to that side. Now take the arm up and over. Keep this hip down so you can get right into the waist. Take the hand back, elbow back, and open through the chest and ribs. Expand. Press the elbow back. Stay here and breathe deep. Opening the rib cage. And if it's too much on the shoulder, Virginia, or anybody, what you can do is you can, you can come back to this position and make it a little bit too much on the, the uh, shoulder. And keep either position, the arm rising out as you lift. And then you can come back. Here we go, we tip, 
And then keep that hip down. Extend and lengthen out from the waist. Beautiful reach. Breath, extend out. Breath. Reach, taking that hand behind. Get an excellent press back. Get that elbow up nice and high with the hip pressing down. Keep your breathing constant. Breath is steady. Okay. And then you can come back. Good. Now come into a seated position. And you can take the legs in and come into a nice tall spine and get really lifted from the rib cage. Good. Now just come on right into a gentle neck circle coming around. And we're going to take our time here. Take another minute. And if there's any way, change the direction now. If there's any place you need to let your head hang or drop, please do to get that stretch. And now you can come back to the center. Let your legs straighten out. Pull the toes back. And finish in your forward fold. For We're going to do a biggie. So I want you to really lengthen out from there. And see if you can stay with the reach of the chest. And extend out. Always have the bum bones back. Extend out. So you reach from the low back to lengthen. Pull the toes back. Press the heels down and pull the baby toe side back. Get the reach up from your low back. Keep your breathing steady. And if you're grabbing your feet, you can pull. Um, the way we do it in Ashtanga is we grab the other wrist and pull and reach out. So if you're at that place, of course, if you're here, you're reaching, it's just as good. You're still gonna get in through the low back. The main thing is not to round as much as you can. And you get that reach. Almost there. Two more breaths. Keep that reach forward. Good. And then you can come on all the way back up. Now just come on down onto your back and pull the knees in wide and just do a gentle massage right into the side of the low back. Now take your legs up, come into your happy baby, grab onto the feet, let the knees bend to the outside. Stay with your breathing. Now take the hands on the inside and then grab around, pull the heels down towards you, get a nice bend into your low back. And then once again, do a gentle rock side to side. And then you can come back to your center, bring the legs up in the air, just shake them out, really floppy. Breathing, 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 breathing. And then let the heels drop. Good, let's roll over to either side, draw up to see the position. And we did it. You did it, you're here. Um, we are done. Um, and as I mentioned, we will do the dumbbells on Thursday morning. So you can have your dumbbells handy on Thursday morning. And I'm sure if you guys have any needs for anything at all, you know, any body parts that are ailing or any, uh, any kind of inspiration that you need. So way to go. <laughs> have a great day, you guys. Bye, Steph. Thank you. Bye, Celeste. Goodbye, Sabine. Thank you so much. You're welcome.